Susan Sweeney here, and today we're going to talk about pay-per-click advertising with the search engines. So let's start with how pay-per-click works. Basically, and just to make it very simplistic, what happens is you bid on specific keyword, keyword phrases. Generally, it's a two, three keyword phrase that you're going to bid on. So you go into the search engine, and what you do is you decide the keyword phrase that you want to bid on, and you put a particular bid on that. So uh, the keyword phrase might be um, real estate agent Phoenix, and the bid that you might put in might be 10 cents. Now, when you get into the bidding process, there are little tools in there that will tell you how much of a chance you've got to be one of the top positioned ads for that particular phrase. And the way that they determine who gets that top positioning, it's a combination of the amount that you bid, the keyword phrase that you bid on, and the ad. Because really what they want to have is they want to have people click on the ad and go to visit your website because that's the only time that they make money. So that's really how they determine uh, who gets that top positioning. Like I say, it's a combination of how much you bid and how good your ad is. So once you've, once you've put that in there, the next thing that happens is your ad will appear when somebody does a search. Now, it doesn't cost you anything. If your ad is at the very top, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't cost you anything. But if somebody actually clicks on your ad and is actually delivered to your website, then the amount that you bid gets deducted from your bank balance. Sounds nice and simple. And actually, it works quite well because if you bid 10 or 15 cents and the keyword phrase that you bid on is a real estate agent Phoenix and you're a real estate agent in Phoenix, do you suppose it might be worth 10 cents or 15 cents to have somebody who has done a search on that actually delivered to your website? Generally, you've got a really good, valuable, and very targeted customer when you do this pay-per-click with the search engines. Now, that's generally how it works. But the nice thing about it is that not only does your ad appear at the top of Google or Yahoo, it actually appears on a whole range of sites that work with each one of these popular search engines. So, for example, if you do pay-per-click advertising with Yahoo, your results will not only appear on Yahoo, but they'll also appear on a whole range of other very heavily trafficked sites that Yahoo works with. So sites like CNN, NBC, USA Today, you'll be one of the top ranked sites in the, all of the, the whole range of network that Yahoo plays with. The same thing with Google. They have a whole range of sites that they work with and they provide the paid ads out to. So if you're one of the top uh, results in the paid advertising for Google, you will also be one of the top paid advertising um, listings on the New York Times, AT&T, and a whole range of other sites. So this is a really great way to do some good, very targeted advertising uh, and get yourself in front of a lot of your target market. Now what you want to do is you want to plan this appropriately. And what I'd suggest that you do is really, if you've not done this before, take $20 and get in and play. That's really how you're going to figure out how this thing works because there are all kinds of uh, reports and, and little tools to help you in case studies and, and uh, you know, there's all kinds of things in there to help you. But let me just give you a little bit of a process on how to, be, to get the most effective return on investment with your pay-per-click advertising. You really want to plan your bids. You want to choose the keyword phrases that you're going to bid on uh, and you want to determine how much am I going to spend. How much am I going to spend on that particular phrase? Am I going to participate in Google and Yahoo or just one? Are you going to do some day parting? Now, day parting means that you can have your bid active for only part of the day. So you can have your bid placed, but you can say, I want my bid to be active only between 5 and 11 p.m. Because you might realize that your target customers are doing their research online in the evening and not during the day. So you can have your ads active for only part of the day to make sure that you're getting the biggest return on your investment. You can also be very strategic geographically. You can have your ads active only for a specific geographic area. So if you're looking for sellers in your own geographic area, you can limit the geographic area that your ads will appear in. So if you're in Phoenix, you can decide that I want my ad to appear only in front of people that are in Phoenix. Uh, if, for, if, for example, you're doing uh, second homes, you're in Florida and you're going after the snowbirds, well, well, you can have that particular set of ads appear only in Canada or in the northern states. So you can really play with your pay-per-click advertising to make sure that it gets 
uh, in front of only the people that you want it to be in front of. You can also decide that you have a maximum budget per day. You might decide that, you know, I want to spend only $5 a day on this so that my budget will last for the whole month. So you can set a maximum budget per day. So it, there's really a lot of play in here uh, so that you can get the, the highest return on investment for your pay-per-click money. Now, before you bid, what you want to do is determine, develop your bids, develop your ad copy, how much you want to bid, and then decide the geographic areas and all of those, those other elements. But before you place that bid and make it go active, what you also want to do is identify where do you want that person to land on your website. Don't send them to the home page. When they click on your ad, you can decide which page on your website you want them to go to. Quite often, it's not going to be the home page. It's going to be a different landing page. So you can identify which page on your website is going to really speak to that particular target market and identify that as the landing page. Once you've identified the landing page and you know you're going to get some significant targeted traffic to those pages, then make sure that those pages are optimized with a number of other elements that you've got permission marketing on there so that you can capture their name and email address and permission to be able to stay in touch with them on a regular basis. That you've got some stickiness on there, encouraging them to stick around and stay longer and visit other pages of your website. That you've got viral marketing on that landing page, making it very easy for people to be able to tell other people about the content on that page. When you're developing your ad copy, again, be very strategic. Uh, give calls to action. Really speak to that target market with the ad copy. Tell them what you want them to do. And go very niche and target with all of your pay-per-click advertising. You'll see a lot better results.